Master Banker Wagwan. So in this video, I'm going to do red peas soup using pig's tail. Normally at this time of the year, I don't cook soup, not a porridge because the time is really hot. However, we have been having heavy rainfalls in my area and we are now in the hurricane season. So the weather is nice and cool in my area because of the heavy rainfalls. So it is soup day. So I'm using pig's tail that already removed the excess salt by soaking it overnight into water. I changes the water a couple of times. Yeah man, so now it is ready to cook. So you can use any meat you wanna use, but for me personally, I only use cured meat when cooking red pea soup because it enhances the taste of the soup. Some more ingredients that I will be putting into the soup. This is two Irish potatoes, two carrots, three sweet potatoes, yellow flesh sweet potatoes, three cocoa, right? Cocoa is what gives the soup body, is what makes the soup thick. And I want the soup to be very thick and rich and nice. So I am using three cocoa, but not just any cocoa. I am using Commando cocoa. You see the purple? You see the purple? The little purple right there? Yeah, man. The best cocoa. When you buy cocoa, look for the purple. Commando. Yes. And I'm also using a piece of yellow yam. I don't put pumpkin in my red pea soup. So oftentimes people would ask me, where is the pumpkin? Where is the this? Where is the that? I don't put pumpkin in my red pea soup. You understand? I don't put okra in my soup because I do not like okra. Put dumplings into the soup as well. I'm gonna make some round ones and some spinners. So I went ahead and need the flour into dough. I already uploaded a video how to do that. I will put a link to that video in the description box if you do not know how to knead flour into dough. So now I'm gonna allow the dough to rest so that I will get some nice, moist eating dumplings. So I'm gonna cover the container and set it aside. So I am also Gonna put scallion, thyme, and add pepper into the soup. I do not put cock soup mix into my red pea soup, and I do not put corn into my red pea soup. And then I am gonna put the juice of one cook pint of red kidney beans, two garlic cloves, and then I am gonna also use a little bit of fermento seeds so our pot is on medium I eat with about four or five cups of water so now I'm gonna add the peas the pimento seeds and the garlic cloves the peas already wash still the carrots and the Irish potatoes peel wash and cut into small chunks so now I am adding the cocoa and as I mentioned earlier this is what gives the soup body makes the soup rich and thick so I'm gonna cover the pot and allow the peas to cook and the pig's tail to cook as well. The pig's tail is soft, so it won't take a very long time to cook. Okay, people. So this is the old fashioned cooking, right? Where I still sink the peas. So if you notice, you can see the peas up at the top of the water. So I'm gonna pour two cups of cold water into the pot. And this method is called sink the peas. Cover the pot 
and just allow everything to cook. Okay, so the peas and all the vegetables, including the cocoa, they are partially cooked, almost cooked. And as you can see, this red peas is not as red as the others, but what color I get from this soup, that's the color it's going to be because I'm not going to use beetroot to enhance the color of the soup. Because some of the peas, then they ain't red like first time. So now I'm going to add the, um, the sweet potato. The yam. Yam is very expensive in Jamaica right now, $200 per pound. So I'm going to cover the pot and allow the yam and the sweet potato to partially cook before adding the dumplings and before adding the coconut milk. Alright people, so now everything is cooking and alright, so now I'm going to add the coconut milk. Stir. So now I am making the dumpling. Just pinch off a small piece of the dough, roll it in the palm of my hands, and then use my thumb to make a slight indent at the top. And to make the spinners, all I did was to roll the dough lengthwise. Yeah man, just add the spinners and the dumplings to the pot. So now I am adding a piece of fresh thyme and then one add pepper, remove the stem and then one stalk scallion. Give it a good stir, lower the heat and allow the soup to simmer until it thickens to the consistency that I like. Taste the soup to know if it needs additional salt. I am using pig steel and I put it to soak to remove the excess salt but I you know, manage to leave back some of the salt because the salt enhances the taste of the soup. So no additional salt was needed in my soup. However, taste your soup if you will be following this recipe and see if it needs additional salt. This is the soup ready to go down in my belly. You understand? Yeah man, thick and nice. It is not red as a previous red pea soup recipe that I uploaded that peas I purchased it from a different location that is the real Jamaican red peas unfortunately it is raining so I wasn't able to go at that location but listen I won't be buying any more red peas at the location that I purchased this red peas because then I make the soup red you understand I'm like when my red pea soup red but as I said before I'm not gonna do anything put anything to enhance is the color so this is the color and it is okay so this is my red pea soup, thick and nice and delicious. Try my easy, simple version. You know, I try to make my red pea soup as natural as ever in terms of I don't use any form of powdered season or anything like that. I just try to keep it as natural as possible. Yeah, man, so I'm going to drink my soup and watch cartoon because I love cartoons. Thanks for your support. I can't stress that enough. Thank you for watching my video, subscribing, clicking the post notification bell. Yeah, man, God bless you. Walk on until next time. Big up on yourself.